Hi, I'm Dr. Rajesh Kakani, an ear, nose, and throat doctor practicing in Long Island, New York. Today, we are going to talk about salivary gland infections and how you can use facial massage to help your treatment regimen. This video is for use by doctors and healthcare providers only. For patients watching, please consult your doctor prior to using the treatment described. Now, before we can talk about salivary gland infections, it is important to understand a little bit about the salivary glands and how infections happen. We all have six big salivary glands, which make saliva and deliver it into the mouth. Two here called parotids, two here called submandibular, and two here called sublingual glands. The parotid and the submandibular glands are particularly prone to getting infection. Usually the infection happens when the flow of saliva has slowed down, and that leads to a buildup of germs. Over time, this can also lead to development of stones, which can exacerbate the problem. So the key goal of the treatment of the salivary gland infections is to help saliva flow again. That's where the facial massage can help. How do you do the facial massage depends upon which gland is involved. If the parotid gland is involved, you're gonna take three fingers, you're gonna start under the ear lobe, behind the lump, and you are going to gently squeeze towards the upper lip. Once again, start under the ear lobe and gently squeeze towards the upper lip. If the submandibular glands are involved, you're gonna start under the jaw with two or three fingers and gently squeeze towards the chin. Once again, start behind the lump under the jaw and gently squeeze towards the chin. I would recommend doing this massage two to three times every hour while awake. In addition to this facial massage, patients should be encouraged to drink lots of fluids and take either lemon drops or sucking candies to help make more saliva. Similarly, heating pad or warm compresses help make the saliva move again. Of course, some patients would need antibiotics. But I feel that adding this massage to your treatment regimen will help your patients get better faster. Once again, please consult your doctor prior to using the treatment described in this video. If you have any questions, please visit our website www.licent.org. Thank you.